I remember the International Eucharistic Congress in Dublin, June 2012. I think I'll always remember it. Memories flood back, mostly of a festival of faith. People publicly and personally celebrating the gift of faith, symbolized in the gift of Eucharist. People meeting one another after many years, people coming together, um, traveling together also, uh, symbolically as well as practically. Um, it was just a wonderful time. Now there were fears that the Eucharistic Congress might not be a wonderful time there had to be there a very real sense of repentance, of renewal, of facing up to past failings and worse. But there was something else that happened which gave us a space in which we could be truthful and grasp truth as in the mystery of God's love. And the extraordinary thing for me was that the personal and the community side of this mystery of God's love seemed to flow in and out of one another. People were genuinely happy. They were genuinely faith-filled. And at the same time, we were genuinely community. My own part in the Eucharistic Congress was actually quite special. My colleague Julianne and I, who worked for the Council for Pastoral Renewal and Adult Faith Development, we searched for quite some time to know what our connection with the Congress might be. And we found it by a roundabout uh, a path, really. We found it when we found the theme of our pastoral conference, which was due in September of 2012. And after a lot of conversation, a lot of work, a theme emerged for that conference, which was communion and co-responsibility. And it was by working back from the September event to come that we found our foothold within the Congress. And so what we offered was a reflection space. And we offered this every time there was a workshop on the timetable. So for 14 sessions, we invited people to come into a space which we had designed as a conversation space. We explored communion and co-responsibility very much through the medium of conversation. We asked people to dip into their deepest hopes for communion and co-responsibility. We reassured them that it was not our idea. Pope Benedict has reiterated many times the fact and the need for co-responsibility for the church's mission in our time. I came into my job to work for the Bishops' Conference in January 2005, and that was exactly the same time when the bishops had established a process which was to result in a national directory for catechesis. This national directory was actually called for as far back as 1997 in a Roman document, the General Directory for Catechesis. Um, the Irish bishops uh, had taken up that request and that um, invitation to adapt the General Directory for Ireland. And they had appointed Dr. Garrett Byrne to uh, research the whole community of faith formation in Ireland and to begin to draw together as writer a draft document. Now, for me, anybody who would know me would know that I am very, very keen on a, the, the dialogue in faith and the dialogue in the faith community. Gareth travelled up and down this country everywhere he was asked. He advertised publicly and he invited all and sundry to talk with him. And he spent a whole year at that. He drafted a first edition of what would become our National Directory for Catechesis. The joy for me is that this document went through six drafts. I can vouch for the fact that the feedback people's from people's reflection on the drafts were taken on board wholeheartedly. This is truly our document. This is truly... Uh, uh, it speaks what the bishops say in the introduction, that it comes from the heart of the church with love. You know, the language is reminiscent of the language of Benedict. It is a, a wonderful document. Now, as a member of the uh, committee working to promote Share the Good News, we have adopted a twin approach. Everywhere we, we work with people or speak with people, we ask them two questions. When you've read a section of this document, 
Where does this document affirm what you are doing? And secondly, to what does this document call you? Where do you find the challenge, both personally, in your work, in whatever area, pastor, renewal, adult faith development, or faith development, is it parish, diocese, wherever, school, community, wherever. Uh, where does this document call you and challenge you? It also calls and challenges the whole church to a reimagining of what faith is, what the invitation to faith is, what the journey of faith is, and where are the key people.